Hello everyone and welcome to the YouTube channel of Being ACCA. This is Tushita Gupta, ACCA affiliate and in this video we are going to be solving Beckley Hill question. Beckley Hill is a private hospital carrying out two types of procedures on patients. Each type of procedure includes the following direct costs. These are the costs given to us for both these procedures. BH currently calculates the total overhead cost per procedure by taking the total overhead cost and simply dividing it by the number of procedures, then rounding the cost to the nearest two decimal places. Using this method, the total cost is $2475.85 for procedure A and $4735.85 for procedure B. Recently, another local hospital has implemented activity-based costing ABC. This has led the finance director at BH to consider whether this alternative costing technique would bring any benefits to BH. They have obtained an analysis of BH's total overhead costs for the last year and some additional data, all of which is shown below. So here are the details that we have of the overhead costs and below is also some information to help us calculate the ABC related costs. Okay, so reading the first question, using the traditional costing system, what is the overhead cost per procedure? Now, uh, what we saw over here was they currently calculate the overhead cost per procedure by taking the total overhead cost and simply dividing it by the number of procedures. So I'm going to do exactly this. This is my total overhead costs. 1760635 and I'm going to be dividing this by the total number of procedures, which is 14,600 uh, 14, plus 22,400. Let me perform this calculation quickly on my uh, calculator. And this gives me 475. 847 which I round off to two decimal places so I get my answer as option C. Moving on under activity based costing which uh, what will be the administration cost per hour. Now we have to see that these are the administrative costs in total and the cost driver that is behind it is administrative time per procedure. So administrative time per procedure in procedure A, one hour is taken and in procedure B, 1.5 hours is taken. So let's uh, first find out the total number of hours that have been, uh, you know, taken to perform this job, uh, the total administration work. So this is 14,600 multiplied by 1 plus 22,400 multiplied by 1.5 right so performing this calculation I get forty-eight thousand two hundred. so these are my total number of hours and then I'm just going to divide one eight this figure one eight seven zero one six zero with this figure that I've gotten this is one eight seven zero one six zero and I have divided this by forty eight two hundred. Let me find the answer seven zero one six zero divided by forty eight two hundred and I get my answer as thirty eight point eight, which makes my option A as the correct answer. Moving on, uh, using activity based costing, what is the nursing cost per hour? So nursing cost over here, this is the total nursing cost, uh, 6215616 and the cost driver is length of patient stay. So length of patient stay is given according to hours. For procedure A, it's 24 hours and for procedure B, it's 48 hours. So I'm just going to do the exactly same thing which we did in question number two over here. We're going to find out the total number of hours which is 24 into 14,600. Plus 48 into how many are the procedure B numbers? 22,400. So 22,400. And uh, what do I get as my answer over here? Okay, so this is one, four, two, five, 
six zero zero. I'm just going to divide the this figure six two one five six one six six two one five six one six divide this by one four two five six double zero and I get my answer as four point three six per patient hour. Why? Why did we not go for admin hour? This is because our cost driver is length of patient stay. These are what? These are patient hours. Patient hours. So that is why we went for option D. Right. Moving on to the fourth one. Using activity based costing, the full cost for procedure A is approximately 2297 and dollar 4853 for procedure B. Which of the following statements is or are true? Let's first write over here what are the costs for the uh, using the traditional method that we had gotten. So these were uh, 2475.85, 2475.85, and and for procedure B, the same was 4735.85. 4735.85. Right. So um, the first statement says using ABC, the allocation of overhead costs would more fairly represent the use of resources driving the overheads. This is true because th that is what ABC essentially does, right? It will uh, allocate your overhead costs uh, according to how much of uh, expense is caused due to which activity. So yes, this statement is true. Moving on to the second statement, it says that the cost of procedure A goes up by using ABC uh, and the cost of procedure B goes down. So let's see, this was the traditional method that we were following and this is the ABC costing that they have provided us. The cost for procedure A has actually reduced, whereas the statement says the cost of procedure goes up. So this makes the statement entirely wrong. But still, let's figure out what's the reason for the same. So the reason over here is that uh, most of the uh, overhead costs that are uh, over here, they are actually driven by number of patient hours. So um, uh, the fact that uh, procedure B almost takes double it is exactly double uh, procedure b takes double hours than procedure a that is why you know uh, the entire difference is coming so uh, my statement two is not correct and hence uh, i get my correct answer as option a bh has provided an activity based costing system uh, B, sorry, BH has decided that an uh, activity-based costing system is too time-consuming and costly to implement. Which of the following statements are true? Whilst the comparative costs of procedures A and B are different under ABC, they are not different enough to justify the implementation of an ABC system. Uh, this is actually true because uh, if you see the differences, th these are slight. There's only like barely a hundred dollars of difference over here and uh, over here also not much difference that we see right but um, when it comes to implementing the abc costing system it will be very time consuming and costly for them so they may you know the the benefit that the bh company will get by implementing the abc costing system may not be you know enough to cover the cost that they will have to incur in uh, adopting this system so statement one is true now coming to statement B, it says that a similar allocation of overheads can be achieved simply by using patient hours as the basis to absorb the costs. Okay, so now let's try uh, how much would be, uh, you know, our overhead allocation if we use uh, the traditional system, but we do not use it according to the number of procedures as they were doing it over here. We take some, uh, we take this basis that is given over here that is uh, patient hours so let's calculate uh, using this method patient hours uh, we had calculated over here these were 1425600 right so and my total overhead costs are given to be 17606352 so i'm going to just divide this 17606352 and just going to divide this by the total number of uh, patient hours. 
this is one four two five six double zero uh, performing this calculation I will get twelve point three five so this is 12.35 per patient hour is my absorption, uh, you know, the overhead absorption rate that I have got. So uh, if I see for procedure A, so for procedure A, I have uh, this material cost 1200 plus 800, 1200 plus 800 plus uh, how many patient hours is it taking 24 multiplying it by the absorption rate of 12.35 similarly for procedure b i have my costs over here as 2640 and 1620 2640-1620 One six two zero. Yeah, just cross checking whether I have gotten the figures right, and then adding this as forty eight because uh, procedure B takes forty eight hours. So just going to add this all up. This gives me two two nine six point four, and this gives me. Four eight five two point eight. So if I just compare uh, according to the ABC numbers, this is two two nine seven, and this is something exactly you know very similar. This is just a barely a difference of zero point six dollars, and for procedure B it was four eight five three, and this is also if you round out it will exactly you know come to four eight five three. So yes, this statement is correct because it will lead to a similar allocation of overheads and hence both the statements are correct making my answer as option C. Uh, with this we have come to an end of this question. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. You can also let us know in the comments down below which question do you want us to solve first. Thank you.